Good morning. Um, I am working on making a little bit of soup for my um, brunch, I guess. I just worked out. I'm so hungry. Um, I'm going to create something <laughs> out of leftovers because, um, and so I'm really sweaty and gross, so that's why you don't see me on camera. Believe me, you don't want to see this in action. So I am putting on a hair dyeing glove because I'm going to cut up that jalapeno. And for some reason, I have like this allergic reaction towards um, a jalapeno. Like my hands will burn. Oh my gosh, one time I actually got it in my eye. Yeah, that was not fun. So I'm starting out this little, <laughs> this little creation. Um, I have a little bit of beef tallow, I think it's called, um, which my fella, I, I don't remember all the steps he takes to, to make it, but he makes it. So it's something with a big pot and I don't want to know because I'm afraid it's like, well, I just put the hoof in or, you know, something weird. So <laughs> I'm pretty open to most things, but you know, when you're in an orphanage, that's kind of how you live your life is like, oh, well, if it's on the floor for 10 seconds, I'll still eat it. You know, 15, maybe not. Um, but when you've learned what it's like to not have food, then you definitely enjoy food. <laughs> but at the same time with kidney disease, you have to be really cautious to what you're putting in your body, I guess. So Anyway, I was going to brown up um, some of these onions because I just love onions. There's something about onion and garlic that I really, really love. And the other day, my fella, <laughs> his name's Don, by the way, but um, he actually sauteed some jalapeno, which I thought was just amazing. Like, uh, he's a really good cook, though. I don't like to take all the time to cook. I'd rather be plain or um, I'd rather be doing anything else really but cooking. So cooking is kind of a drag for me, um, especially you guys have watched me all this time. So it's like, you know that I especially don't like to cook when it's just me. So, but I do want to make something out of the leftovers and I definitely... I wonder if I should add a little more here. I definitely um, want to, uh, there we go, that's a little bit better. Eat healthy, sorry, I'm like trying to concentrate and cook at the same time. But I definitely want to eat healthy and of course our bodies, we have to eat healthy so it's not like you know, I can just run to Burger King. Of course I could, but I don't want to do that to myself. I don't want to have, you know, to change my dialysis and all of that. So every time we eat something, every time we drink something, it's really imperative that it's really just good, healthy stuff that's going to make our bodies feel good and nourished. And I think even when you don't have kidney disease, that should be your focus too. Um, I do try to eat quite a bit of vegetables. I, try, I actually don't eat a lot of fruit. If I do, they're going to be based on potassium. So, you know, your banana. I used to eat a lot of apples, but I'm not really into that. And I did notice when I was going to the gym that I would eat um, an apple on the way. And it's like the sugar in the apple kind of gave me a jump start, like a pre-workout kind of vibe. So I did do that. But let me see if I can. There we go. Um... But I don't do that anymore. I don't eat um, apples as much. I do like to get good oranges, though. And not just a basic orange. Like, I'll pay that, I don't know, what is it, $1.49 or something at Sprouts per pound for the Cara Cara. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But I do like those oranges. Or the Minotona, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, I do like those. Um, oranges. I've not ever eaten a bloody orange. Maybe I'll try one of those, but I just like to have really good food. And so I try my best to always, we, we actually try really hard to not eat at the bars as much. I mean, there are times where he plays really late and you get hungry or 
your day just gets away from you. And so when he goes and plays, we have to eat at the bar because there's just no time for anything else. But there is a, there is a bar that we go to on Tuesday nights when he has an open jam there. And they're super cool because we'll order drinks. I actually only order water, but he'll order his soda. And, you know, when we have Ben, we'll order Ben a soda. And then they also have a little um, dessert menu so we'll order a little dessert but I'll take food <laughs> take food there because I'm like I'm not paying $14 for crap food but their food is really good so I don't want to say like their food is bad but everybody knows bar food is just basic bar food they're not there for the you know I don't know I'm sorry <laughs> I sound so terrible now oh I'm so sorry that's not what I mean I just you know, we're, we're just trying to cut down on cost because, you know, we still have to live a life. Um, and then also to try to feed ourselves, but not bad food. So in this dish, show you, that's enchilada sauce. And this is leftover potato and chicken from the other night. Mostly potato. Don't let that fool you. It's mostly potato that is in there. Um... And now that we cook a lot more together, I was told that I'd eat a lot of potatoes. And I'm like, maybe it's because I'm Peruvian. <laughs> that I just eat, I, I, uh, I don't know, tomatoes is like a, a solid that looks kind of bad in the picture. But then I'm going to take a little bit of vegetable broth that I purchased yesterday at the store, which is another thing like I... Uh, should not go to the store and purchase things because going to the grocery store. Okay. I will say this since COVID one of the best things is that you can definitely roll up to the grocery store and have them do your shopping for you. And I have to say that that's one of the best things out of this whole COVID situation that has happened. I love love doing that because I don't spend as much money and I don't waste my time wandering around. I had to wash that powder off of my hand from that glove. And I'm going to need to dye my hair in the next day or two. I do have some tomatoes that I'm going to throw in there. I don't know if that's going to add or deduct from the flavoring, but I just don't want to throw them out. I'd like to give them a little bit of a chance to do something before leaving. I don't know if you guys are like this, but I have a hard time with soft foods like fruits. Like I can't eat a soft peach. And according to my mom, the peach is ripe when it's soft. I need crunch and I have a hard time eating anything that's like, like these tomatoes, I would have a hard time eating them on my sandwich um, if I ate sandwiches, but I will throw them in the soup because it's kind of like salsa at this point. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. And I don't want to throw them out. So uh, this is just my life. This is what happens. Um, I was making a couple phone calls about some paperwork I needed to get established and some... Um, like application things I needed to do. And so the lady on the line was like, well, what did your letter say? And I was like, honestly, I have no idea. Like when you have kidney disease, you do get brain fog. And I said about, I don't know, one o'clock, I'm done. Like my brain's done thinking, pretty much done creating. I know I have to take a nap. Um, I take a nap usually from one to two, hopefully not two to three. The weather has been really nice, although today, right now, I believe it is maybe 40. So it's really cold. But Ben, I have him this week, has been really interested in walking. Of course, he is a flint napper. If you are on Facebook, he has a site called uh, Shaded Desert which is his um, page for the flint napping things that he does. I don't know, the tomato just makes it look pretty, I think. So I'm just going to let that heat up and kind of boil just for a little bit, and then I'm going to consume that. I was thinking about putting in these, but I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, so that's 
it's it's cool that Ben wants to walk home because then I don't have to rush to go get him from a nap in the event that my nap runs long or and it is really cold and that's something that we always feel is the effectiveness or the effects of cold weather because I don't know if everybody's like this but I definitely feel cold and it's hard to get warm um, because you know you have your dialysis in you and you got to heat up that too as well so anyways um, but he likes to walk home and he finds rocks and different things that he can you know fin fiddle with and make cool things out of and so um, it's, it's nice that he's also that age where he's you know he's 14 so he's fine <laughs> But anyways, all right, there it is. I'm going to let it boil, let it heat up a little bit, and I will talk to you crazy cats later. I hope you guys have a great day. And what are your favorite soups? Because I don't know. I just love soup. I've always loved soup. I think, honestly, it's because I'm slightly dehydrated, and so soup makes me drink and eat. <laughs> Maybe that's it. I don't know. Or it just warms me up or something. I don't know. Anyways, what are your favorite soups? Let me know in the comments below. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye-bye.